What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services. Coming to you with another video. Today, I wanted to give you my review on the field piece dual manometer. Uh, it's a dual port manometer. I really, really like this manometer. I've used other ones in the past, and uh, this one I like the best. I've had this for a while. Uh, I have actually have two of them of the exact same one, but I've had this manometer for a few years now. It always worked great. Uh, I, you know, it has several features on it. With this particular manometer, uh, it it I, I like the fact that it has the little cover here that you and the magnet that you can hang up when you're doing checking your uh, your gas pressures. You have port one and port two on this uh, manometer. You have the ability with this manometer to check dual pressures. So if I want to check incoming pressure that's coming, um, the incoming gas pressure coming into a unit, and then once check that outgoing pressure that's coming after it goes past the gas valve, uh, then I can do that. That that serves great for uh, for the purpose of not having to move it around. Now what it comes with, all right. So the manometer comes with this tubing. Now when you get the tubing on it, understand that. The tubing that you're gonna get is gonna be like two really long tubes. You cut those two tubes in half. So what you're gonna have, you're gonna have two, two of the ports that are like this. One end clips onto the gas valve. As you can see, like right here, there's an Allen set screw in here. You will remove the Allen set screw and then you would put, slide it over top here, just like that. And then you would put it on one port right there. And then you could do the same thing on the outgoing right here. Put it on the other port right there. Of course, I'm, this is just an example. I'm about to check the gas pressures across here. But then you would put the other one on port two, just like this. I'll slide them on there just to show you, you know, how easy this is. There you go. Now I can read dual pressures by doing this right here and then it also comes with an additional an additional uh, fitting this one right here comes with two of these these fittings that you could actually screw on there there are other uh, sections see on the burner right there see that Allen set screw right there unscrew that and screw this in right here and you will be able to read the gas pressure on that burner as well on this particular unit that I'm on right now I have to do that because I have to check what you call low fire and high fire you know so that's where this comes in i mean overall you have manometer all different types out there this is my favorite it works great been using it for years and when you hit p1 right here let's bring it a little closer to you i don't have the, the unit on right now so you can't really see but that's p1 and p2 it a cycle between these two right here and you will see the pressures you can you can check more than just inches of water column you can check pressures you can check over a lot of different things i mean overall i just say it's plain and simple it's important to have the right tool for the right job plain and simple so with it this is the right tool for the job family it's been tested works great it's my favorite so i figured i would tell you about it tell you about something that's great too works great and there you go all right family I want to thank you for taking your time out to check out the video. I will talk to you soon. Have a blessed day.